We're here now with the two new presenters of 2FM's breakfast show, Dearin Garhi and Omitur. Dearin, how are you feeling? I'm delighted, yeah, and excited and uh, ready to take on the mornings. A uh, little bit scared about the early starts, but we'll get into it. It'll be fine. Yeah, this is a complete change for you. The last radio show you're doing was evenings, yeah. so you're going to have to completely change your routine now. No, yeah, big time. And I'm not really a morning person, so that's not great. But once we get into a napping schedule, I think it'll be fine. And, and oh, and you're the same as well. You're like you're changing from a long, long time of evenings. Well, late afternoons. So are you going to have to change your routine completely? Lottie Ryan says the key to it is napping. Okay. Just don't be afraid to nap and nap hard. Yeah. So I know we're going to be fine. Um, to one, we were told exclusively we're not allowed to say we're not morning people. We are okay. sprightly, happy morning people. So Darren's already fired. <laughs> I haven't even started. To getting up at half four in the morning. Yeah. That's going to be cool. Well, you two could have a napping schedule together and make it a thing, a bonding mm -hmm. moment. Not actually napping together, but texting no, no, each other. I think our professional relationship will be compromised <laughs> very early. And oh my God. No, the good thing is we're starting in summer, so that the, yeah. the mornings are bright. You know, if it was the depths of November, it might be a bit happier. Yeah. So tell us, what can we expect? Obviously, people have been used to Breakfast Republic for a long time. What are listeners going to get now? Um, I guess the thing I've, I've been saying is Breakfast Republic is an amazing show and it was doing big business, yeah. so we're aware of that legacy that we're being given. Um, I, I kind of feel like I look to, like it's the industry standard, like the BBC Radio 1 breakfast show, like the big one-stop shop show where, yeah, it's very personal and Greg is, is great at that stuff, like Breakfast Republic were, and also we kind of want to be the home for if big names are in town, yeah, we want to yeah. do event radio, we want to yeah. like be really ambitious with the vehicle that we have, so I guess that's kind of where we're punting. So is your idea to change a little bit then maybe? That sounds a little bit different. In a good way. In a good way. Oh, change it big time. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I think if you come in and try do what has been, yeah. you're on a path to nowhere. But mm -hmm. yeah, we, yeah, we have to make our own stamp and make it quickly. And I think, like, again, like what Dieran has built by herself and the audience that she has, it's huge. So yeah. we're kind of looking to bring maybe new ears and yeah. younger ears to the station. So it's exciting. Does that make you nervous a little bit? Is there a little bit of pressure? Obviously, you were on another national broadcaster before as well. So you've been in this position but now this is full time it's every day yeah. all your followers they are going to be tuning in are you a little bit nervous I, of course I am yeah there is a pressure there but I think it's it's I suppose it's that classic thing of I wanted a full-time national gig now yes. I have it I'm like why did they give it to me yeah. why did they give it to me but yeah. no I think once we're we're into it and uh like we already know that we have a good I suppose we bounce off each other like yeah, we did the we worked together before yeah yes. well that was actually weird because obviously I worked in Roadwatch and I did the traffic for own but we weren't even in the same building like we couldn't see each other but we oh I didn't know that yeah, yeah. so I was on I was on St William Street and he was obviously over in Donnybrook and but we just had great crack so it feels very full circle so it's it's exciting and it must be mad for you to see dear and go from a Roadwatch now one of the, like the biggest celebrities in Ireland also as well yeah I'm, well, I'm a massive celebrity huge fan. big deal she, she's sponsored by Renault Sorry, no, you know. <laughs> but, but it was uh, she gets paid a lot of money to, yeah. you know wow. mm. uh, like it was really obvious very quickly that Dieran was more than the gig she was in if you know what I mean and that's yeah. why we kind of said hey, let's you know do more fun stuff with this girl and then as soon as she set up her Facebook page and started doing the comedy so it just exploded in like yeah. in weeks not yeah. even you know what I mean people spent like years trying to graph that kind of career so so yeah no it's it's brilliant we're gonna we're gonna harness it and I just say to get to get back for the Gaston E rap that Owen did I would love you, you to take off that, right? I would love you, you to take Owen McDermott off on air rap. can you have you heard the Gaston E rap I have yeah 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 oh yeah you did it about Gaston yeah, yeah it was yeah, they, they did this story where they speculated I was romantically involved with we Masonic did not design. speculate yeah, did. we did not I have the receipt I, I, did great, I did a great parody rap that Ali pretended she was offended by but I was offended by it <laughs> Oh, that is my last question. Are you going to do an impression of Owen McDermott? Well, Owen doesn't know what's coming. He has okay. no idea what's coming. Okay. I'm yeah, I have a lot of, I have a lot of stuff on my sleeve. That'd be cool. Maybe I will. Yeah. Thanks so much.